Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how to quickly melt something in Houdini. So let's drop down a geometry node and let's say test geometry and um, I think we can test this with um, a rubber toy. I think a rubber toy is a great option for testing stuff. I love it. So. Um, let me do split, left and right, get my parameters right here, and we are going to transform our rubber toy so it's just barely above our plane, just like that, and we want the rubber toy to just like on this first tutorial to like completely melt and then on the next tutorial I'm gonna teach you guys how to control that melt so it's like from one end to the next but first things first let's uh let's learn how to control what we have here we're gonna do points from volume then let's drop down a null after the points from volume and we're gonna say out source I'm gonna just jitter this point and do a 0 0.02 so that it's more dense and drop down a dot network. Now what we want is an object, a flip object and flip solver. On our flip object, we wanna come here and select the out source which if we click here is gonna show us it is this one right here. So it's a rubber toy. So we're importing those points. We're gonna say particle field, and then we're gonna come here to the guides, click particles, and we're gonna say visualization set to particles. And now we have our basic rubber toy as points in um, flip. And the cool thing is like the way that I've imported it here is not it doesn't have the volume on it here so it's not gonna be like spitting out particles like liquid every single frame it's just these are the particles that we have and these are the particles that we're working with so let's drop down a ground plane and a merge and we're gonna merge this but remember our ground plane has to be on the right so that our collisions work properly i'm gonna go ahead and save and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is for optimization sake, come here onto our flip object, guides, visualization. Let me see, where is this? I always forget where my, here we go, where my source is. So if we pull out, you'll see that our container is super big where we're doing the simulation. We wanna sm make it smaller so that the simulation runs a little faster. And if we hit space bar and number three on our viewport, we can visualize this from the side and we can um, hit enter on the viewport while selecting the flip solver, push this up here. And now we have something that it is much more optimized. Hit space bar and number one to come back to our original view. And what we're gonna do now is drop down a gravity and let's hit play. Oh, well, you wanna hit this thing here, hit this little thing here so it's real time. Boom. And all of a sudden we see that our particles just like, we lose a lot of particle count and it's also like super splashy. So we wanna come here on the particle separation, copy this parameter, and then we're gonna come out here and on our points from volume, we're gonna paste relative reference onto our point separation. So now, when we change the point uh, number here is going to automatically change it outside on the points from volume so let's say 0 0.02 and now if we play this is going to keep number of points that we're working with so now we have melting liquid and all of a sudden yeah this looks pretty rad um uh, really cool but i want to have something that like you know it's not a splashy it's more of like a melting type thing and uh, I guess this is melting, but not super oozy. 
So we're gonna select the flip object. I want to have a on my initial data. Um, let's see. We're gonna come to our guides. We're gonna come to our physical, and we're gonna say that we want this to have a five um, in viscosity. And then we're gonna select the flip solver, and we are going to come into our viscosity, and we're gonna enable the viscosity. So we're not gonna enable the viscosity by attribute. This is something that we would do if we wanted to, to create an attribute before and drive our viscosity by an attribute. But in this case, we just wanna enable our viscosity and control it here uniformly over our piece. Let's hit play. And all of a sudden we can see that our melting toy has now viscosity. And um, yeah, this is a pretty low res sim, but it, you can see that it's pretty cool. And we got something that is melting. Now let's come out to our main main um, uh, geometry context. And there's a few things that I can show you that it's important to have in mind. So number one, we don't have the color on their points anymore, right? Remember that we had the color right here when we sue add shader. But that's because we need this color on our points, right? Um, so we would, we would need to use an attribute from map. And that is something that I am gonna cover on the next tutorial. So I hope you guys like this basic melt. Um, on the next tutorial, I will show you guys how to keep the color information and how we can mesh this. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And like always, I will be back with more.